So we have our Sager NP9870-S model sitting here right now. And uh, you might notice this is a custom model here. Uh, it does have the, the green custom painted trim on the sides of it. But we're going to run ahead and run some benchmarks on it and see how well it performs. The first one that we're going to do is the crystal disk mark on it. And this is going to tell how fast the read and write speeds are on this computer. And I'm going to go ahead and run it on the, the RAID 0 configuration of the two Samsung 850s. Um, so this is set up uh, in RAID 0 where basically both of the drives are combined to make one single drive and it's going to almost, not quite, but it's going to almost double your read and write speeds compared to just having a single SSD. Um, so the faster the read and write speeds, the quicker your computer is going to boot up and any kind of program you load on it will load up quicker. Uh, if you have to save any information or if you're rendering any kind of video or photos, then that's also going to help with that as well too, just by having the faster drive. So let's go ahead and take a look and once this is done, we'll go over the numbers. All right, it looks like Crystal Disk Mark is finished up. So for the read and write speeds on this model, on the sequential read, we got 974.5 megabytes per second. On the right, we got 971.1. Uh, for the 512K test, we got 784.4 megabytes per second on the read and 881 on the right. For the 4K test, we got 44.53 on the reads and then 105 megabytes per second on the right. And then the 4K QD32 test, we got 533 megabytes per second read and 468.9 on the right. What's up next is going to be to run the 3D Mark on this model. We'll go ahead and take a look at Firestrike and then also Skydiver on there. And we'll check out how that runs on the 980M SLI configuration and then take a look at temperatures once that's done. So our first test is finished up here. Let's take a look and see what the results were for Firestrike. So first thing is the graphics score was 16,203. The physics score was 12,763. And a combined score of 5,124. Uh, the overall score on everything was 12,893. Uh, this puts it at better than 90% of all results for any of the computers I've taken it. So even uh, desktops and other laptops out there. The two 980Ms are really going to pull through on that one for you. Next test we're going to take a look at is going to be Skydiver. So let's go ahead and get that one up and running. And once that one finishes up, we'll come back and take a look and see how we did. Skydiver just finished up for us here, so let's take a look and see what the scores are. On the graphics score, we got 16,409. Physics score, we got 11,732. And a combined score of 18,208. 
for the overall score in general, uh, 15,628, and it puts it at about 54% better than all other models ran. Now let's go ahead and take a look and see what our temperatures were on this model. So while we were running the benchmarks, the various different cores on the processor came up at 74, 76, 72, and 73 degrees Celsius with the overall processor package coming in at 76. Let's take a look at the graphics cards down here. So under the 980M, the first one got 88 degrees Celsius, and then the second one got 83 degrees Celsius. So uh, it's about normal on that since the one graphics card usually works harder than, than what the second one does there. Let's go ahead and take a look and run Heaven Benchmark on it as well too. So we're going to put this up on the Ultra settings here and go ahead and just run that and then benchmark that once that stats up too. It looks like we just finished up on the Heaven benchmark here, and it averaged frames per second was 144.9, and a score of 3649. The minimum frames per second was 18.2, and the max was 247.7. And while I was doing that, I also took a look at the, the decibel reader again, and it was coming in pretty consistently at about 53 or 54 decibels on that. Um, take a look at the temperatures on this. Uh, processor was 65, 67, 67, 65 degrees Celsius, and the core was 70 degrees. And then the graphics cards. First one maxed out at 88 degrees Celsius, and then the second one came in at 84 degrees Celsius. So that has been a look at this custom-made uh, Sager NP9870-S with some upgrades to it. Uh, as well as the the gecko green uh, paint job that you see on there as well. Thanks for watching this video on the Sager NP9870-S model with custom upgrades and exterior finish on it. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to call us at 877-289-9684. You can always email us at sales at exoticpc.com or hop onto our live chat on our website. If you have any questions on customization or anything else we can do for you, just let us know. Have a great day.